Hello everyone, Palutine here today, and I'm going to show you a video working on two different achievements at the same time. The first of which being 4v4 Ken versus Insane AI, which is in a 4v4 multiplayer custom game with Insane AI allies. Use the following uh, race combinations against Insane AI opponents. Basically, you do 4v4 uh, versus whatever, but your team has to all be the same race. So, 4 Protoss, 4 Terran, or 4 Zerg. And uh, the other achievement is the exact opposite. You'll be going against 4 Terran, 4 Zerg, or 4 Protoss. And I have a replay here showing you how to get the first achievement with your Protoss going against Terran. So, here we go. Alright, the game has started. I immediately select a probe and send him over to the enemy base. I was planning on doing a cannon rush, so that's why my uh, starting build is not exactly normal. Uh, there used to be a spot right around this line right here where you could lay a pylon and the enemy wouldn't attack it. They would just kind of scout by it and nothing would happen. But I believe that changed with the 1.1 the update. They kind of fixed the AI here a little bit because this is what happened. And I did get this achievement before the update and that is nowhere near what happened. Uh, all of, almost all of their... Hey, let's take a look. Almost all of their SCVs are coming out to attack it. Yellow only has four SCVs in his base still gathering. So, my first reaction was, okay, what the fuck? But then, I thought that this would be hindering their economy so much that I'll just keep building pylons and having them come over to attack it. Because really, it's not hurting me at all. It's a hundred minerals, and they're losing much more by wasting time killing it. So while I'm doing this, you know, they have one barracks each. Uh, it's going to be a few minutes before they get their marine out. And my teammates already have three gateways up and zealots on their way to attack. So we're way ahead at this point because I've just been distracting their economy. And I tried to be a hero there and uh, place that pylon a little bit faster, but that didn't work and my probe died. But uh, at this point, like I said, we already have teammates on the way to attack with their zealots. And zealots just rip right through marines but they do macro their marines a little bit and they do not have zealot charge yet and I, actually I don't think they ever get it so uh, I decided that my best course of action after my pylon harassment is, is that what we're gonna call it? pylon harassment? Well, I decided my best course of action after that would be to go straight for uh, endgame so I went straight for a colossus and I should have had more stalkers to support it so if I uh, was going to do this over again. I definitely would build more stalkers. But building up my base right now, my teammates continuing to attack the enemies, uh, running in with everything they have, and Yellow is in bad shape right now. All his SCVs are scrambling to repair all of its buildings as they're getting shot down. And I do believe that Yellow is the first to GG out. Back in my base, Cybernetics Core going up, and fully saturated in my mineral and gas line. 26 probes total. Yellow's hurting bad. Uh, Red Terran looks like he's hurting bad too. Not many units there. Uh, we didn't, we weren't able to do much harassment as far as attacking in the back two bases, so the only reason that Red and Yellow are still in this game is because that Blue and Light Blue have been assisting them. Robotics Bay going down, uh, second gateway going down, and here comes an attack from the blue Terrans, which I believe will be cut short very quickly, which I hope so, because they're going straight from my base. Yeah, they decided to go to the right. Robotics Bay going down now, and I guess basically what you need to take away from uh, these videos is that it's important to attack with your team. Uh, don't try to be a hero and run in by yourself. I know that there isn't a very good example of, of that in this video, but I believe there will be in the next two. I'll be showing you the uh, Zerg and Terran achievements as well. And Robotics uh, Robotics Bay is finished. I'm researching Thermal Lance and getting my first Colossus out. Should be building more Stalkers, but for whatever reason I'm not. Um, very large attack groups from both of my allies now compared to the very small attack groups from the enemy Terran. So at this point I know we pretty much have the game in the bag. Uh, yellow should GG out right now. 
and my first Colossus should be out any second. And pretty much once I get my Colossus over there, we, we win the game. But basically, I was able to delay their economy so much that it just messed them up for the entire game. And you, you have to rely on your teammates a lot in, in the 4v4 games. And my teammates just macroed up and attacked while I was uh, distracting their mineral line. If they wouldn't have attacked that probe, I would have gotten a uh, forge down there and started just putting cannons down to distract them. Uh, that's the way I got the achievement originally. There we go. Yellow finally GGing out, and red will be soon after. My Colossus is coming into attack. Again, a very small force, but Colossus are pretty powerful. Thermal Lance should be done. So it's done now. Cool. There's my second Colossus. And the Terrans are trying to macro up as much as they can, but at this point it doesn't matter. Uh, Red's base is getting taken out. I'm uh, taking out all of their SCVs with my Colossus. Uh, one thing you can do to kind of exploit the uh, computer's AI is just attack a building way far off in the base, away from everything else. And the SCVs will just keep funneling in to uh, heal it as you kill the other SCVs. Uh, of course, the units will come back to attack you as well, so that's important to remember. Uh, after Red GG's out, I don't... I guess I am attacking the base a little bit, but I think I was distracted with something else. But after a uh, computer GG's out, you can pretty much ignore them. It's not like going against uh, two players where the other player will just take control of those units. Uh, they're pretty much done after they GG out. I know before they used to just stop, so I don't know why they're still trying to evade. They used to just stand there, uh, pre-patch. But, uh, I believe Light Blue will GG out next, because he's getting what the fuck owned. And Dark Blue will be soon after, because we are hitting his mineral line. Well, I'm just standing here because I'm really good at this game, but my teammates are hitting their mineral line. And this is the first video, the first of three, showing you how to get both achievements. And I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.